All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Get Real. Hosted by us, Peniel. What? Wait, wait, sorry, it's Peniel. Bien. Ashley got another haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we are with our honorary guest again. PH1 back on the show. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, yes, welcome, yes. welcome. And uh, today is a very special episode. We okay. thought we'd do one dedicated entirely to… Hairy situations. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Yes. So we have a bunch of mail time today. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get into that. And we're going to hear a lot about what Harry would do in these situations. Ooh. Okay. If there's anything you guys want to hear our take on, interact with us on our socials at The Dive Studios or leave us a comment when our full episode videos go up a couple of days after the audio posting at youtube.com slash divepods. Subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Leave a review with five stars on yeah. Apple Podcasts so more people can know about our show and join in on the fun. Yeah. Yo, I feel like we could just go straight into it. All right, all right, all right. All right I'm going to go ahead and you read… Take turns just reading one at a time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, do yeah. that. All yeah. right, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. You want to start us off? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. So it's user Light Light's Choice J. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, guys. As an artist, I'm visually com- visually confronted with my mistakes in my craft. Hmm. I don't understand what that means. But okay. Lately, I feel like I've plateaued and while my peers are improving, I haven't seen the same for myself. How do you get over a creative drought? How can I convince myself that this isn't my limit and I can still improve further? He feels like he plateaued Mm -hmm. while his peers are improving. Yeah. So it Mm. seems like he's kind of like comparing himself to his friends. Mm. Right, right, Which you shouldn't do. Yeah. Because you guys all go at different paces. Of course. Yeah. Um, But this is something that we all… Go through, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. This is yeah. so common. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for us, like As writing an artist, raps. Right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, we get writer's block all the time, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I'm sure everyone has their own way of coping with it and getting over it. What how, would be yeah. like a, a solution, possible solution for Jay to go over this hurdle? Well, I mean, like you said, stop comparing <laughs> himself to his peers. Yeah. Right. And um, you know, just be like, okay, like this is they're they're going at their pace. I'm going at my pace, mm. um, and then, you know, just just keep going at it. Mm. Just keep going at it, um, and you know, eventually, mm. it's gonna stack up, and he'll probably get over that plateau. Mm. He'll start going up again, you know. Mm. Um, but just because you plateaued, I don't think you should give up because. You know, it can't just always be just up, 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 yeah, up, yeah, up. Yeah. Improvement, improvement, yeah. improvement. There's plateaus. There's many plateaus. There's multiple plateaus yeah. on the way to the top. So um, you're going to find yourself in these situations a lot, I think. So Yeah. Um, you should get used to it too. Yeah. Mm. Don't don't mm. get too discouraged. <clears throat> it always happens. Especially as an artist, I think it happens a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is definitely not your limit. So yeah. don't believe that, oh, I've hit my yeah. limit. I'm not going to grow anymore because yeah. that's what it feels like to to have a writer's block or, or, or um, hit a plateau. You just feel yeah. like you can't grow anymore. But mm. yeah, that's just sure. not true. Even like the greatest uh, artists that we know, uh, just looking back at their history mm-hmm. or, you know, their their growth, they, they don't always just go up straight. Yeah. They hit plateau. They go down yeah, and sure. they yeah. go back up. So yeah. Like you said, there's downs too. So I think yeah, yeah. Should, they should be grateful that it's not a down for now. It's just yeah. a plateau at least. Yeah. Just think um, of it as an opportunity for another, uh, you know, yeah. growth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know exactly <clears throat> what they're talking about when they say my craft. But mm. I think um, one thing that really helps me a lot is when I look for inspiration. Right. Yeah. When I try to find something new and something. Yeah. Right, right. And that right. could come from something that you see… That's really common and really cliche. But you see something like that's stiff. Oh, you know, like, oh, shoot. Yeah. Like, okay, let me try that then. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, I think I do that a lot. Yeah. And it might be like the same thing you saw yesterday. You didn't get any inspiration from Ooh, it. But the next yeah. day, you might be like, oh, wait, hold on. You see it in like a different way. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, And yeah, and maybe even take a break. Maybe yeah. take like a little break. Oh, just, definitely. Just rest. Yeah. Um, You know, just give yourself time to kind of recollect. Yeah, and then go back at it. Find some inspiration, like um, Matt BM said. Yeah. Also, um, changing 
like a major routine. If you're just doing the same thing over and over every single yeah, day. Yeah, once we once we get comfortable, yeah. Yeah, we don't grow. That's dangerous. That's Even a dangerous, dangerous place. Muscles too, right? Yup. If you do the same yeah. set, same thing over and over, yeah, yeah, yeah. not gonna grow. No, no. Nope. That was my mistake for a couple of years too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. You wanna go? Next yeah, time? I'll read the second one. All right. Um, user <clears throat> Martina says, "Hi guys, I finished my master's a year ago, and ever since I've been trying to find a job as an event manager. Ooh. Then the pandemic happened, Ugh. and after living six years abroad on my own while studying, I had to move back home, living with my mom, unable to find a job." During college, I was so busy being a full-time student plus working various jobs to gain work experience. But having a good resume doesn't seem to matter anymore since I've been stuck at home for almost a year. Um, I've, pushed, I've always pushed myself to be a busy bee, studying, working, having some social life. But the problem is now that I'm in my hometown with my high school friends who moved away, my introverted self that I always push to the side is coming out and I feel no desire to, do, to actually do things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've always been an introvert and like to be on my own, but I feel like in this ex- in this situation, I hardly go out anymore, and I've gotten lazier with basically no social life. Mm. Uh, save for no social life slash save for texting my friends daily. I don't really mind actually, but I feel like this is not healthy, especially compared to how busy I was last year. Uh, do you happen to find yourself in a si- similar situation, and would you do s- would you do something to change things? Thank you. Yeah, event um, manager, you definitely need you know st- stuff to be going around and yeah, stuff, but yeah, yeah. it's all on stop because of Corona. So one thing I heard is event. Uh, she said she's a she's an event manager, right? Mm-hmm. Event planners and people who run events and stuff like the CEOs, they got money stacked up to be spending on. All these events, so yeah. You so it might, chose it might a great up. job. Hit if you're up. if you're kind of like going down the dark road, like you're like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Like, what am I doing with my life? Like, and you're by yourself. I feel like it could get worse. Mm. So you know, surround yourself with good people, friends that you trust. Mm. Um, it's good vibes, and just kind of try to think of it as you're taking a break, mm. a little break. You know, what's gonna help you not feel lonely. Is watching some get real episodes. Oh, uh, I thought you were gonna say get a dog. But <laughs> what? Oh no, I think she thought you were gonna say something else. No, 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 I wasn't gonna. <laughs> hey, uh, come on, <laughs> come on. We just talked about being spiritual. What do you, oh. you think? <laughs> I was, <laughs> what do you think? What you gonna say? That, you gonna say? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> she thought I was about to get sus. Or just blunt? No, 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 no. Watch Get Real. We got like a, more, a little over 20 episodes out now. Um, a lot of people have been sending messages saying it helps them, you know, not be too lonely. Another yeah. thing, hit up friends, hit up family, have your little Zoom dates. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Just remember like it's not just happening to you. Yeah. It's happening yeah, to yeah, everybody everyone, around everyone. the world. So just yeah. don't feel like you're maybe like the only slacking. One. Or yeah. Maybe, yeah. You know, the only one that's like, why is this happening un- to me? Un- unhealthy. Life. Yeah. Because it's just… You're kind of forced into it. So don't blame to yourself too much. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. Yeah. And it's great that you posted this. Because that means you're not… You know… Completely too scared to talk about it. It's important to also talk about this kind of stuff. And how you mm. feel with people around you as well. For yeah. sure. Yeah. So yeah. All right. All right. All right. Mm. Shall we mm. move on? Yeah. Let's yeah. read the next one. It is from user… Stars crossing… Ariane? Ar- Ariane? 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 Ariane. <laughs> Ariane. <laughs> Ariane. Uh, hello, I am currently a junior in high school and I've been dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety about relationships and work slash school. Besides taking eight courses, being the executive of a club in school, along Ooh. with being a member of four other clubs, learning cello, volunteering, etc. I have felt a lot of stress and anxiety building up ever since junior high. From the amount of work I have to the relationships uh, relationships I try to maintain around me. I am so stressed out and ang- and anxious to the point that I am unable to sleep well. Less than 6 hours a night. Uh, eat well and have the kindness slash right mood to have the heart to speak up about uh, much going around in my head. Mm-hmm. One particular issue I have been thinking about lately is maintaining friend relationships. Acquaintances are easy to make. But making true friends has been really difficult for me. Mm. Although I quote unquote know a lot of people around me. I have I have come to be known as the girl who always greets others. Or the daughter 
the daughter or sibling of my immediate family members. I don't know how to maintain or care for my friendships, especially when I feel like I am unable to support my friends when they need me or I make a mistake or say or do something that is in my eyes wrong. Hmm. Whenever I feel like I do or say something wrong, I immediately withdraw from the relationship and try to give others space. And in the first 12 years of my life, the friends I have made either isolated me or never really welcomed me back. What? Do you have any advice or thoughts about maintaining friend relationships and how do you deal with friend fights? Mm. Friend fights. Ooh. All right. Friend fights. But she… Just said herself, like when she feels like she did something wrong to the friend, mm. yeah, she just like withdraws and just, you know, kind yeah. of disconnects, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're supposed to kind approach of, them first yeah. and apologize or something, talk it out, talk it out, communicate. Um, mm. So maybe that's where uh, the the problem stems from, mm. and maybe that's why when you go back to the friend, they don't really welcome you back. Yeah, because mm. the problem isn't resolved. Yeah. So yeah. they're yeah, still, and they were maybe waiting for you to come, you know, and initiate the resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So maybe. Yeah. I mean, um, I think for every relationship, friends or like a significant other or whatever, there needs to be compromise and communication. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's like you gotta do both of them. And even if it's kind of uncomfortable, mm. you know you did something wrong. So go mm. and communicate to your friends. Mm. Compromise with them, you know. Um, just talk to them about it. And I'm sure once you guys talk it out, they're not going to kind of like, you know, push you away like that. Yeah. Um, there, it, the, you know, it could be harder being the fact that she's four clubs, you know. Yeah. Right. All yeah, these yeah. classes. and Super, you, got, yeah. you got a lot on your plate right now, girl. But, mm. you know, one thing I could tell you for sure is I feel like you won't ever regret approaching a friend with with a, with an apologetic, you know, attitude, heart. You heart. know, yeah, yeah. With, with an attitude like that. Because if it's I'm sorry, like you know, and you want to explain yourself, if they're a friend, they're gonna listen and they're gonna try to understand. Oh yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe approaching first is 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 probably yeah. something uh, an advice we could give you. Mm. I mean, but also, like, don't push yourself too hard. Yeah. It seems yeah. like you're just working too much. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah. And uh, you're like in a constantly not in a good good mood. Yeah. And nope. maybe that's why you don't have it in you to like yeah. initiate the resolution. Yeah. Cuz I feel like that's not the rela- the friend relationship isn't this person's priority. They're more focused on yeah, yeah. The learning stuff. cello, volunteering, yeah, like, yeah, you the clubs and everything, you know. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. But I mean Another thing that I want to say is… You don't necessarily… I feel like you don't necessarily need like… Quote unquote… The true friends. Like you know? It's like… Mm. I feel like… Um, they might be similar to me… In the fact that like… There's a lot of people that I know too. But… Um, it's like… A bunch of people think I have a bunch of friends. And mm-hmm. like I know everyone. But… It's just like… I'm just acquainted to them. Yeah. I don't really know them, you know? And yeah, then yeah. there's like it's like there's definitely people I'm like closer to. Mm-hmm. And like I'm sure there's gonna be friends that she feels this person feels that way about too. And you don't necessarily have to be like, oh, they're my best friends. Like yeah. you could have like different groups yeah, yeah. of friends and stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um just if you trust them, yeah, you can get closer to them and stuff, but you don't need to necessarily, I feel like, kind of… What do you call it? Like… Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, almost there. <laughs> yeah, I, re- I relate so hard to this bold sentence right here. You know? like, um, having a lot of acquaintances, it's easy to make. But making true friends has been difficult. It's yeah. going to get even more difficult as you grow up. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And um, some people… Their only true friend is their dog. So Damn. That's deep. Damn. And sad. That's <laughs> <laughs> talking about me. Um, but um, also remember it's… Uh, you don't have to feel the pressure to go out and make true friends. Quote unquote. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah that has it to should be happen natural. natural yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said like when you like hang out with all, all these people… There's gonna be 
a few group of friends that you feel like you could be more open about. You can trust a little more. Yeah. And you know, it's like that doesn't mean you have to necessarily throw away your acquaintances and like only hang out with them. You know, yeah. you can still hang out with everyone. But um, you said that you have a hard time. Um, have the heart. Oh yeah, yeah. You're having a. You're not in the right mood to have the heart to speak up about much yeah. going around in your head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, to the people that you kind of trust more, and yeah. that you kind of, you know, you you like their vibe a little more. Mm. Talk to them about it. And you don't necessarily need to talk to your acquaintances about it. You know, for them, mm. just it's like whatever. It's just like you could be on like a high by relationship. Yeah. Mm. Um, and people and then, come and go too. You know? Yeah. All the time. All yeah. the time. So. Even your best friends sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. You know, don't be too burdened to make quote unquote true friends. Yeah. Yeah. I guess just. Focus, focus on, your on yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Being the true fan. <laughs> we on the same page Ooh. right now, bro. Ooh. I wish I clicked. I wanted the, <laughs> I wanted the high five I'll too. Yeah. You. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was in your head. We know it. <laughs> yeah. As far as maintaining friend relationships, yeah. just think about it like 50-50. Like you got to come 50 too. Um, yeah. If you're just pushing away. Yeah. You're like, oh, should I did something wrong and you're withdrawing? Then you're not giving your 50 and… So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even if your friends are giving their fifty, if you're not, if you're just withdrawing, yeah, um, you're not giving it an op- opportunity to kind of bloom into a quote unquote true friend. Yeah, which is something that yeah. And I think it it applies to friend fights too, like um, understanding. You know, trying to understand where your friend is coming from when mm. she say when she talks about you know her standpoint. Yeah, and and. You know, trying to understand it, but you stressed out, girl. You need yeah. to chill out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You need you need to go on a vacation. Yeah, kind of yeah. calm down. Mm. I hope this takes. I hope all this takes you to a great college where you party and let all that stress out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dang. They got they got what like they're a junior. And yeah. I junior they got they got school. two years left. Yeah. Mm. All right, like one and a half years, maybe. And yeah. your your circle of friends change. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. From high school to college, and yeah, yeah it's kind of changed. Yeah, so. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. I don't think you need to worry too much about it. Mm. All right, all right. Okay, next is um, user it it's a it's a it's a it's a knife. <laughs> That's another. Oh, you guys don't know the reference. Okay, twenty one savage. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a knife. Oh, okay, it's a. <laughs> Hello, I'm in my early 20s. Graduated college early this year and was fortunate enough to have a job right after graduating. Ooh, my nice. question is, what are your thoughts on dealing with first job woos? Ooh. I have found uh, this chapter of my life particularly char- challenging because there is this constant anxiety of wanting to do well at work. Mm. On top of the fact that I, I found I find adulting in general difficult. Mm. I guess this question is more about how to get through this beginning process of forging my own career path. What is your advice for people who are going through their first jobs and constantly feel anxious about not doing a good job? That's exactly how you should Man. feel in a first job. Though. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's so exactly natural, how you so should. normal. Um, huh. Feel anxious. I mean, I feel like… Who wouldn't be anxious when it's their first job? They're yeah. always going to want to yeah. be doing their best and whatnot. But yeah. I feel like it's that mindset that matters. Uh, as long as you're giving it your best. Um, you know, if it doesn't live up to the standards of the company or whatever you're in. Yeah. And let's say like worst case scenario, you get fired, right? Mm-hmm. In your head and in your heart, you know that you still like gave it 100%. Mm. So I don't think there's going to be any regret there. Mm. Yeah. Um, but let's say you're half-assing it mm. and then you get fired then you're yeah. definitely going to regret yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Here, uh, let's put it like this. If you're not anxious about doing a good job for your first job you should be fired. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, first yeah. job. I'm going to relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I'm here. I made it. Nah, <laughs> yeah, you should be yeah. fired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah, yeah. natural to feel anxious about yeah. not doing good. You know, you're like oh my gosh am I doing everything right? Every- that's normal. Yeah, very normal. Um, very, very good attitude good. to have. Also, um, don't let it affect your health, though. Like, it's not gonna be. It shouldn't be anywhere to the point where you have anxiety about oh, going yeah. to work. You yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. But as far as being at work and trying to do a good job and just being on your A game all yeah, the time, yeah, 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 worrying about what your what your higher heads think about you. It's it's um completely natural and a 
a good thing for you to, you know, just get better at the job mm. and and learn more. Yeah. yeah. And just be ready to fail too. Yeah. You're going to yeah. make mistakes and you're going to fail. You're going to do well too. Um just be open and just be ready to uh face whatever it is. Yes, sir. Sure, for that sure. That way you can grow, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, but also when in choosing your first job or in choosing any job that you mm-hmm. take, uh I feel like the most important thing is can you grow wherever from you're the job? Yeah. from the job. Mm. I think that's a the most important factor. You know? For sure. Yeah, more yeah. than just money. Can you grow as a person? Can you grow as uh, whatever occupation you, right, 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 yeah, right, you right. Chose, chose? What can you learn from it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's for sure, for sure. I mean… But if they do pay good money, then I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if the bag yeah, yeah. right… <laughs> 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 but yeah… <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of, yeah. But yeah. Um I think short, I think yeah, short, I think huh? I think they covered short. everything. Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid of failure. Um, you know, cuz it's your first time. You're not going to be perfect at it. Yeah. Don't be afraid of failure. Just learn from it. And then it's a you you're like in the right mindset. If you're like comfortable going into the job already, then yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah. should you be at this job? Yeah. You know? So it's like, it's good that you're anxious about not doing a good job. I feel like that's going to make you want to improve yourself more. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like you're on the right path. By the way, <laughs> we have a mail time channel for everyone who wants to post and share your stories that you yeah. want insight on. On, on Discord. Discord. Yes. That's, that's where we're getting all of these questions from. So… Yeah. If you want to get featured on Get Real, the best podcast in the world. Oh, oh okay. Hey, I found a funny one. Okay. All right. This is from user Honey's Honey. Okay. She says, I have an issue of bro zoning almost all males, oh, even okay. though I've, even the ones I've met for the first time, that it becomes so hard to convey that in, actual, that in actuality, I'm interested in them. How do I unbro zone a bro? Oh, so like she's oh, not dang. trying to friend zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just like there, oh yeah. Hold on. Is there a difference between friend zone and bro zone? I think so. It's like the same thing, difference? right? Oh, uh, it's the same thing. Right? Oh, it's the yeah, same thing. Okay, same same thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So she, she's in actuality, she is interested in them. But yeah, but then like unintentionally. Like, yeah, yeah. Hmm. How I mean, does she know that she's bro zoning them? Uh, I'm sure um, there's like a few like clues. Right? Like, I, like it could be either from like friends telling him, nah, I mean I guess you bro zoned him. Like, what are you doing? Like yeah, you bro zoned him. <laughs> you know? Or like, maybe she's getting friend zoned by the guys. Oh, and she thinks that, oh, maybe I bro zoned him. Honey's honey, but- <laughs> we broke your heart. <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying, just check check the facts before you, you know, write on Discord. You might be uh, the one who got friend zoned in the first place and they, they're treating you like a friend. Mm. And you're like mistakenly thinking, oh, maybe I bros on these guys. Maybe. There are people like that Dang, though. Yeah. There are. There there are. are. But those girls are so fun to hang out with. Yeah. Those girls. Yeah. 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 I got some nunas. I call them Hyungnim. Oh, <laughs> because yeah, 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 they're, yeah. Like, you know, they're like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dang, how do you get, how do do you get I, out of them? How do you unbro zone <laughs> a guy? If a girl was calling me bro, yeah, isn't I think that my, like a sign of? Yeah, that's a sign my, of not. Yeah, in, no interest. Yeah, yeah, I think, and like I think my interest in them would go down a bit too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like if I was like, like if I was like, oh, like oh, it's kind of cute. Like maybe I should go try talking to her. And yeah, she's yeah. like, yo, bro, what's up? You know, I'd be like, oh, I'm a bro, like, huh? Mm. Okay, how about this? How about this then? <laughs> You're interested in this girl, right? Yeah. And then she keeps calling you bro. Yeah. She keeps bro zoning you. Yeah. What are your personal ways to get out of that bro zone in order to get with her? Like what do you do uh, okay. to get out of that zone? I mean, well, I mean if I'm interested and yeah. they keep calling me bro… Shoot, you got to send signs. <laughs> you know, like… <laughs> Even though you see me as a bro, I might try to get a little bit closer and just like, you know, like… A little skinship here and there, you know, let you know. See how your reaction is. Like, mm. you know, I'll just like say we're at a party or something and like we're having drinks and whatever, you know. I'll get a little close, you know, like, you know, wrap my arm, you know, and do a little something and I'll look for signs like, is she pushing me away? Mm. Or 
is she holding like my hand or you know what I mean? Like does she like… Like if I do this, is she like holding my hand? Ooh, yeah, all right, now, I'm not just a bro. Like I see it in you. Like I'm gonna <laughs> I'm get myself out of the bro zone. <laughs> and you you want it too. I see. You know, you should grab yeah, my… You know, yeah, like yeah. flirtatious stuff. Like okay, okay. if I flirt, flirt first, are you going to flirt back? Mm. But if you don't, mm. oh, I guess I'm just a bro then, you know? Right. Mm. But… <sighs> yeah. Well, what would you yeah, that's do? That's how I would do it. <sighs> I can't remember the last time I was bro zoned. To be honest. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I'm just not aware. Just like, walk I'm out. not too. Just walk out. No, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They came out wrong. I, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm not too aware Damn. of these. He's he just flexing things. on all of He's us, starting aware. with this. So no if case I'm interested iPhone. in somebody and uh-huh. they're not, then that's it for me. Like, I just walk away. Right. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Um, Damn. But the girls. Fine. Super fine. And like, mm. you're like, she's like that type of girl where just like, she goal oriented. Mm. She's sexy. Super passionate. Mm. Loves hip hop. Mm. Super loves independent. Your music. Mm. What are you gonna do, bro? What and she in you, your bro? eyes, visually too, she's a ten out of ten. Yeah. She, and she keeps me calling. Keep, keep calling, calling you, bro. bro. But she calls you, bro. Don't what? call me that. I don't, I don't change my name to bro. <laughs> <laughs> so she be calling my name every day. Every day. Um, I don't say know. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> What I would do is maybe uh, just distance myself, not see her for some time. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. Make Let her, her forget. Make her forget. Oh, forget. And then right before like, she I'm forgets who I am, uh-huh. I come back, but with a different vibe. Oh, yeah, she's like, oh, who's yeah. this new guy? But then that's not yeah. you. No, but like just different swag. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh, PH one okay. two Before yeah, <laughs> PH two. Oh, PH two. PH two. <laughs> PH two Yeah. Um, okay, okay. You? Me? I mean. I'm pretty straightforward. So, <laughs> you are pretty straightforward. Hey, I like you. Do you like me? <laughs> yeah, if, I, if I'm interested, I'd be like, yo, you keep calling me bro. But like, I'm pretty interested. Like, Oh, you say that? Yeah. Oh. Like, would that you be so manly? Girl, yeah, that could make a, her, a girl's heart flutter a little bit. Mm. Have you ever… Mm. Has that ever happened to you? Been called bro? And then you're like, you call me bro, but I like you. Yeah, like friend zone, no, but you took so. yourself out. No, mm. okay. Oh, that means you were always never out in the friend zone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Or okay, 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 another okay, one. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. There's this girl mm-hmm. that you're not interested in. Oh, okay. but you know she's interested in you. Yeah. Okay, okay, in okay. order to you know prevent that from happening, uh-huh. you you let her know that. Yeah. Like you gotta let her know right, that right, she's right, a bro right, right. girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like how, how do you? What are some things that you do to let her know that she's just a bro, not a girl? Oh, I'm pretty yeah. straightforward with that. Too. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say? Like, how do you? I'm just, like, I'm just like, yo, I only think of you as a friend. So, oh. it's like you know, it's like, because I I often find myself in a position to to mislead girls. Oh no, and they think it's okay to like make moves on me, but when I'm like, oh yeah, 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 okay. for yeah, sure, for sure, totally not interested. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty cutthroat with that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and it also depends on the girl too. Cause say it's a girl where it's just like, you know, she's showing interest, but I don't have interest. Obviously, she's gonna try to text me. Mm. She's gonna try to like be a little flirt- flirtatious with me. And you're gonna tell from my vibes that I'm not into that. So, you know, mm. if 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 she could catch those those vibes and those little signs, then you know, naturally she'll be like, ah, he ain't into me, ah, whatever. Mm. But if it's a girl that's just like really straightforward and be like, no, nah, I need you, like. Your mind. Yeah. She's like mad persistent. <laughs> yeah. If she's like, you know, nonstop. Mm, you gonna give her a chance? Well, Depends. If, yeah. If I don't if I don't know them, mm. so they're not in like a friend zone or anything yet. If I don't know them and they like and I think they're cute or something like that, yeah. I might give them a chance. Yeah. But yeah. like if I'm, not, if I'm not, but if I'm not feeling them like this, mm. that relationship's gonna end super quick though. Yeah, because mm. like as soon as like I'm just like yeah, no, I don't think this is it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna break it off. Or have you ever experienced this? You've known this girl for such a long time. Mm. So uh-huh. She's like a real like close, almost like a family. To yeah, you, yeah, like right, cousin, right, right, almost. Right, yeah. right. But you you go away to college or something for some long time uh-huh. and come back. Mm-hmm. Is she fine? All of, all of, no, all of a sudden, you just like… It just feels different. Ah. Has that mm, ever happened to you? No. 
No, once a family, always family. No, because I've never like met anyone like uh, that, that I haven't seen for a long time. Oh. You know, so okay. yeah, because mm-hmm. like all my friends back in Chicago too, like they all went to different states for college and stuff. So mm-hmm. I never like met up with any of them and stuff. So there has been a time where I was like, "Were you always this Cute? sexy?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What did college do to you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Whatever it did, it did good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, there's been times like that. But obviously, you know, having that history with her, I wasn't going to try to make a move. And she wasn't going to try to make a move. So it was just left it at that. Oh, you cute now. Mm. Okay. I mean, didn't you see like all the memes mm. on like uh, Instagram where it's like a girl could just like smile at you? And like make your day or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make a guy's day for like for like a week or That's something. True. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It really can. We'll be stuck on that for like yeah. a couple of weeks. Like yeah, yeah. she smiled at me. Do I text her? Like she wants me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, uh, we do be thinking that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't don't. First off, <laughs> take the word bro out of your vocabulary oh, yeah, 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 when you're yeah, yeah. with them. There's yeah. no bro. Yeah, if you like them. Yeah, if you yeah. like them, yeah. there's no yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Switch to bay. Try bay. What? Just uh, try it. Yo, if if, if, bae, if, you know? if someone that I thought was like a like a friend, like all of a sudden like started bae. calling me bay, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you today? Hey, <laughs> but it's a friend. That's cute though. Mm. Is mm. it? And goal oriented. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would be like, I would kind of be like, what's wrong with you today? Like, you didn't I get think enough you sleep. Would do that, like, like, you didn't bake? get enough sleep. <laughs> I think for girls, isn't it more uh, clear when they send signs to guys? Like, I would think so. I mean, all the signs I've ever gotten, they're pretty damn clear. Yeah, like pretty flirtatious. Like you know, if you're texting with them, texting with a girl, and mm. she's like. Just replying to whatever you just said. Last, yeah. Then she's not interested. But if she's like trying to keep the conversation going, then yeah. she, there's uh, an interest. Yeah. Oh shit, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think so. A huge sign is if they ask to meet first. If they oh, ask yeah, to yeah. hang out first. Mm, you know, like yeah. what you doing? Like, you know, let's kick it together. That's a huge sign. Yeah. Unless yeah. they want something from you. That's like, also like what, us. Yeah. What, what do know. they want? No, like what uh, do they want, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> I need to kill it. Yeah. Uh, shoot. What are what other signs are there? Um, skinship. I feel like skinship how about, is how about huge. late night likes on Instagram? Late night Ooh. likes. Late night likes. Some girl on Instagram that that you know, and that girl just started liking like five photos. Yeah. On your feed like at 2 a.m. straight. Mm, mm. She looking for me. me. Oh, yeah. She looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> what if they just have insomnia? You're frozen to yourself right now. <laughs> well, they, they're like sleepwalking and their thing is like they just like unconsciously yeah, like, just like <laughs> liking people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, no, that could definitely be a sign though, because that means like, you know, like before they sleep, they're like, oh, let me go check. Yeah, uh, that's huge. Yeah. I yeah, want to yeah. see him. That's huge. Yeah. Or they're like liking the photos that that's like from last year. Yo. Which means they went down. Scrolled Yo. down the feed. Dang. Yeah, they went right. all the way to last year. Yo. Dang. They were on there for something then. Is that a clear sign? From from the girls. I don't know. A single girl who likes a guy who goes down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of creepy. Huh? Maybe, no, no. Maybe. If it's no, a, I don't if think it's, it's creepy. No, no, no. If it's a year <laughs> back… If it's a year back, that was an accident. <laughs> no, 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 they no. Were, they were like scrolling through no, and then they like double tap. It's like, oh shoot. <laughs> no, no. On purpose maybe. On They're purpose? Like, look at this. They're like, I'm looking at you. I've uh, done that before. <laughs> 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 on purpose? <laughs> to, to let them know, right? Let them know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you might as well just slide picture. into their DMs then if you're going to do that. <laughs> well, I mean, that was the next step. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's this, it's this. One like, do I get a like back? Oh, I got it. Okay, throw it out. Like a couple. If, and then if either a DM comes or they do the same thing. Oh. If they do the same thing, then I send a DM. If they like so that… So it's a they, bait move. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I mean, if you put it like that, but yeah, yes. Yeah, it's a bait but move. But yes, yes. Mm. But if they're interested, you know, 
Damn. Damn. Yeah. He's a pro. Mm. You're a pro. Mm. Damn. Mm. I thought you brought it up because you did. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Personal experience. I didn't know you knew my technique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. One more thing though. Like um, calling them late at night. Do people See? call anymore? Yeah. Really? Oh. Mm. Usually it's a text first. Yeah. Is it? But if that call comes, then that means something big is about to go down. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> they what? got something to like say. What? Like what? I need Elaborate. the details. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, need the I need the details. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, all right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think we can start wrapping it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We could go all for right. days on this type of topic, yeah, bro. All yeah. right. But yeah, wait, did we give her any any actual <laughs> yeah, advice we did. to we get did. out we of did. the bro? Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Skinship, being flirtatious, and not using the word bro. Smiling at them. Yeah. <laughs> and looking in their eyes while you smile at them. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then liking their picture from a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. Save that for later. Okay, save that one save for that later. Save that one for later. When you, have a li- like- when you have a little bit more of an assurance. That yeah, yeah, yeah. This- okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, um, yes. Uh, I think we're going to start wrapping up now. Uh, if you wish to stay updated on the show, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Yo. The full episodes will be up on YouTube.com slash Dive Pods a few days after the uh, audio recording goes up. All right. Yo. Once again, please subscribe and review to this podcast. Good reviews only and five stars. And yes, thank you everyone for listening and goodbye guys. Goodbye. Peace. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us, PH1. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your what's your um Instagram and Twitter handles? PH1 boy with three Y's. That's it. Yeah. Boy. Boy. <laughs> all right, all right. Go follow that too. <laughs> boy. Yep. All right. I need the details. <laughs> all right. Bye guys. <laughs> hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts.